So, Minister, you've been sent here by Home Secretary Suella Braverman to answer questions on asylum and immigration. That's right. She would have come herself, but she has to return a helicopter. Do you mind if we do a bit of role play? Well, I mean, I don't have my costume and you don't look that much like my mistress, but not that kind of role play. I knew that. So, I'm a young orphan who's fleeing an African country and has a sibling who already lives here legally. How would I be able to join them and claim asylum? Which African country? Why, does that make a difference? Well, just if it's Rwanda, then I have quite a pithy answer. Let's say it's not Rwanda. Damn. Well, I would say that you should use one of our safe and legal routes. And what are they? Routes that are both safe and legal. And what does that mean? They're not going to cause you harm, and they're not against the law. No, what are these safe and legal routes? Can you give me an example? Well, I don't have time to go into all of them, obviously. Just one is fine. Well, I suppose you could get to this country and claim asylum here. How? You go to your local branch of the uh, Home Office and fill out a form. No, how do you get to this country? Well, any of the normal ways. Planes, trains, automobiles, boats? Absolutely not, unless it's a cross-channel ferry and you have a ticket. But I'm a 16-year-old in Africa, I can't afford any of that. You know what, you're really beginning to make me care about this hypothetical child. So much easier than caring about the real ones. So how should I, this child, get here? It doesn't matter how you get here, as long as it's legal and doesn't involve small boats. Can you give me an example? Well, it would be okay if you just sort of... appeared here. So, teleported? Yes, exactly, if you could teleport here, that would be fine. But teleportation doesn't actually exist. So? So doesn't that make it a bit like your safe and legal routes? They exist in theory, but not in practice. And in theory, that's something I should care about. Whilst I've got you, can you please confirm when you were given legal advice that your treatment of migrants in detainment centres was against the law? Look, we take legal advice very seriously. Every time I've received legal advice, I've looked at it, read it, listened to it, nibbled it, smelled it, rubbed it against my skin, considered it deeply before completely ignoring it. Thank you, Minister. Next up, as the Metropolitan Police announces that they'll be texting 70,000 victims of a banking scam, we ask, on average, how many text messages would you have to receive from the Metropolitan Police before you'd get a racist joke or a sexist meme?